the year is 2018. The world isn't in a pandemic. Intel is still at the top and AMD is still struggling to compete. Somehow, the two companies collaborate with Dell in order to create this, the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. And it is a very interesting device. But now a couple of years down the line, does it still make sense? And we ever have any likelihood of seeing something like this again? Let's talk about it. This is an OISO and this is the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 review. So other than the fact that Intel and AMD collaborated to make this chip, it's really interesting that this is the last, currently the last XPS 15 2-in-1 that we've seen from Dell. I really think that this was an incredibly compelling device, even at the time, and I wish that Dell continued to do so, especially as chips got more and more capable. But let's talk about this device in particular and see whether it makes sense to still use today. It feels like this device was just made for creators, and it seemed to check all of the boxes in order to be the perfect all-in-one device for someone like me. But let's walk through those boxes and talk about each one. So first, let's start with the design. The design of the XPS 15 2-in-1 is very similar to the design of just about every single XPS that we've seen in recent years. That's not a bad thing. It's an aluminum and carbon fiber design that is actually very, very premium feeling. I really like the aluminum carbon fiber combination, and I really think that more manufacturers should look into like a two-tone style device like, well, like Dell and now Microsoft also do. Unsurprisingly, this design is very similar to the 9365, the 13-inch 2-in-1 that I reviewed just a little bit ago, and it's the same premium feel that you'd expect out of any XPS. Now, notably what matters the most to me when it comes to 2-in-1s is the stability, right? The hinge actually matters a lot because when I'm sitting at my sitting the laptop in my lap and typing on it, I don't want the the screen to bounce. Now this screen has a little bit more bounce than a traditional clamshell laptop and a little bit more than the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro that I reviewed last year, but still this is quite sturdy and I didn't notice a lot of bounce when I was typing on my lap. That's excellent. Dell has always been known to have pretty stiff, strong hinges, which is great. Apart from that, the design is still incredibly thin, which is great for a two-in-one device. Now it's no 13-inch design. There still is some thickness to this, but comparatively to some other 15-inch laptops, it's still relatively compact. But the weight is still very, very heavy. I don't think that this would be super comfortable carrying around in like a smaller backpack at least for extended periods of time. You would definitely feel it. It feels kind of like a heavier textbook. So for that reason, I think this is more of a, you know, keep at home style device, but it is still a portable powerhouse. I think I've said this quite a few times that I really wish that Dell opted for a 14 inch model, kind of a uh, Goldilocks between their 13 and their 15 inches, because I think that's the perfect combination. Now this notably has a good keyboard footprint, but there's a lot of extra space where other 15 inch laptops might specifically have a dedicated number number key or number pad. I'm fine with not having a number pad on this device. Sometimes it comes in handy, but I don't think we actually would have the physical space here anyways. And I like that this keyboard has a little bit more spacing relative to the 13 inch model. The experience of using the keyboard itself is not quite as great. I will say that the keys have an okay amount of travel, but there's something about them that is a little bit too clicky. The, the key travel feels kind of, I don't know, weak, in that it kind of feels like you're clicking on a, you know, a weak mouse button rather than actually typing on a keyboard. And I actually greatly prefer the more modern Dell XPS 13 keyboards, and especially the Dell XPS 15 keyboards that have a little bit more feedback to them. Like most 15 inch Dell laptops, there is a quite large trackpad, which is absolutely excellent. It is smooth, responsive, and really nice to navigate on to the point where I don't think I'd need anything better or bigger than this. More modern Dell XPS 15s have a little bit larger footprint for the trackpad, but I don't find myself really needing that over this. This is perfectly fine for me. 
In terms of ports, the XPS 15 2 in 1 has four two Thunderbolt on this side and two USB, USB C, I think it's 3.1 on this side, which is perfectly fine in terms of having enough. Now, obviously, I wish there was a more traditional USB A port on either side, but I guess the thickness wasn't enough for Dell to fit a USB A. I'm not quite sure. I also would wish that Dell would put one, one Thunderbolt on either side, but that's not as big of a deal. What really matters is since there are USB-C ports on both sides, I can charge the device from either side and plug in most docking stations as long as it's not Thunderbolt from either side. And that's more than enough for me. But what I really want to talk about with this device is what sets it apart. First, the convertibility. So. There aren't many 15 inch two in ones in the market and a lot of them are Envy's and Inspirons that are kind of two in ones just for the sake of it, it seems. They're not particularly compact and so it feels like they're not great tablets. This is no exception. This is still very large to the point where I wouldn't particularly recommend using this as a you know traditional tablet unless you absolutely need to. I would prefer using just an iPad for it. But this massive screen makes it actually a pretty good content consumption device. So if you set it up somewhere and watch TV on it or watch YouTube on it, it's going to be pretty incredible. It is a 14 inch or 15 inch 4K display, which is absolutely great. It's glossy, but not too fingerprinty, which is always a big issue for me. And I found that the touch functionality works absolutely excellently. The experience of using touch on this device just shows why I want touch on every single device, Apple. There are two downward firing, or I guess now upward firing speakers on the bottom or bottom of the device, which, which have quite good sound, not perfect sound, but enough to be able to watch TV comfortably on. If I was more artistically inclined, I think this 15 inch display would be absolutely incredible to use a Dell Active Pen on and write on. Or write on or draw on or you know maybe take notes on if you're in school. This display is so massive that as long as you're you know keeping it on a surface, because again it's very heavy, I think this would be a pretty good experience. Now let's talk about the performance. If you are specifically in need for some more powerful graphics performance, then this probably isn't the best solution for you. Considering it's somewhat integrated on the chip, it's not going to have the same sort of performance that a dedicated graphics card in like one of the newer XPS 15 to, or XPS 15s will have. And so as a result, probably wouldn't opt for this. But if you just need a kind of uh, extra boost to graphics performance over something that's just integrated, then this might actually be a good solution. It's a good in-between where I found that the performance, the graphics performance actually helped some of my video editing and photo editing, and it kicked in enough to take some of the load off the CPU. And when I played relatively light, simple games on it, it managed to handle it substantially better than a integrated graphics chip on a more modern CPU. In terms of CPU performance, the i7-8706G in this will perform well, but not quite as well as a lot of more modern chips. Since Intel and AMD have been really like kicking into high gear in improvement, improvements over the last couple of years, especially AMD, you can now find a lot more compelling processors at more reasonable price points. This laptop was able to keep up with day-to-day -day performance just fine. It's just when I was able, when I was throwing some more difficult workloads like video editing on it at it, that it started to show its age a little bit. Now, could we expect to see a laptop like this again? Well, as far as a collaboration between Intel and AMD, I'm not so sure that's going to happen anytime soon. Now that AMD is capable enough to make its own CPUs, its own laptop CPUs that are incredibly compelling, I'm not sure why they would rely on Intel to be able to help. But you might be able to see AMD making more processors that are kind of something like this in good, strong, integrated graphics performance with a strong CPU, right? Like great performance in terms of CPU performance, all combined into a mobile chip. I mean, we've, we're already seeing that. And so it's just up to Dell to integrate something like that into an XPS 15 2-in-1. 
And then Intel, if they continue to push into this graphics performance with their new XE or Z line, they might also be able to prov provide higher end CPUs that also have a little bit of kick for graphics performance. But we'll have to see if they're able to catch up with AMD in that. In a way, I see this laptop as kind of like a unicorn that we might not see again because AMD has gotten so capable in producing CPUs. So maybe it's the last and the only of its kind. But hopefully we'll see more capable 15-inch 2-in-1 devices. Until then, if you are particularly interested in this device, I will be selling it on my eBay page for the next seven days, and you can get a special discount by clicking in the link below. If you're interested, you should totally buy it, but I can understand why you'd want to opt for something particularly newer. Thank you for watching InnoISO. I hope you like this review of the Dell XPS 9575, and I hope it informed you on whether you want something like this yourself. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the 9575, subscribe, and like. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next one.